everybody gonna go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that that's the sad, but that's it the is. sad part. And that's it's the only part. sad because of what we think of what happens with that or what comes with right. that. Because we don't really know. Exactly. It might be the greatest thing ever. The and we over here and we over here just like really exactly. beating ourselves Depressed up about over it. it. Yeah. 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 It really yeah. is the it's it's really into the matrix type shit. It's like, really the really butterfly freedom. of the cocoon, right? It's crazy. Right. You'll never know though. Exactly. Like you said, the uncertainty, mm-hmm. the feeling of not knowing. Exactly. That's that's. I feel like that's where all the fears derive off of, like not yeah, knowing what this action, not knowing. right? Not knowing what this action will bring us. Exactly. It's like you ain't gonna take you ain't gonna take a leap in a new skill or a new trade or a new job because you're comfortable in this one and you make an X amount. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you know, okay, I'm making twenty five, thirty for whatever the fuck it is. If I go over here, I could make. 25, 30, but I could also make less. I yeah. could also not get it. I could also yeah. do this. Like blah, commission blah, blah. based type shit. Yeah, or just saying whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just starting with whatever, you know? And and that's where I was like after college and shit, like I started looking up these trades and stuff because I knew I wasn't fit for the corporation. I know I can't do the script shit. I know I can't do repetition like that. So it's like I was looking at like plumbing, um, electrician, like shit like that. And yeah. <clears throat> all of it was showing me that you need two months of, I mean, two years of apprenticeship which means you're gonna make some money but it's a bare minimum yes you're gonna make um you're gonna make the, you're gonna make these other types of bread like after those two years like 70 80 90 but it's like those two years that you got to sit and just take it on the chin bro that's that's hard what the fuck i'm only gonna make 30k a year 25k a year for the first two years just because I'm learning, but even no matter how advanced I am in learning this task, I'm still only going to be making what the X amount. You know what I'm saying? And so you hit and this that's time so period. tough with me, and that's why I had to go into trucking shit, bro. And that's why it's a double sided sword because I faced what the trucking shit comes with, and it is death. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're sitting in a corporation, you ain't facing death on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't really, you yeah, you you still utilizing your mind, draining your mind, draining your energy. But you're not facing death, bro. When you're on the road, like, <clears throat> you really relying on other people. you really trusting other people with your to, life. Yep, to fucking rookies and novices. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas right with permits driving on the road. Niggas gonna cut you them. off. <laughs> and it's just like, you gotta, you you driving with hella weight on you. You you could roll over, eat. Like, it's so much. It's like, but th- that's why I said the double-sided sword. Because it's like, you eliminate these um two years of apprenticeship and and weak money because you could really give yourself a promotion at any given time with the truck and shit if you find the right you know corporation or 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 job opportunity or whatever you see what i'm saying so it's like but it's like with the other shit yeah it's the same thing if you know somebody you might be able to but you got to know somebody just like anything in the corporations anything with a trade or a corporation you must know somebody in a sense in a sense yeah Yeah, or you could meet somebody but either way you need somebody either way though it is in a sense still it's not death but you is facing you are facing at the end of the day what they want you to face whoever they is yeah but which is I, I guess you could say health problems. You know what I'm saying? People yeah, mental that, health, right. Mental health, they stare at that computer all day. They yeah, sit and don't, vision. they don't work out. They yep, eat the blood snacks flow. and shit. Like, all yep, that shit. Like, that's so 100. One way or another, Longevity death, they put yep. you in a situation yep, where your, a your average lifespan at is, this is occupation affected. is this or yep, that. Yep, so, I mean, you're right. It's not faced with immediate death, yep, but the longevity of it. Yep. Just like they brainwashed you from a child. Okay. I was just talking about it, how they kind of do, like with this Barbie dolls and shit. That was just a little instance. Always when they got black Barbie dolls, it's always some basic shit. But when they got white Barbie dolls, right? They come with a mansion. They come with mansion, a whole doll. Pony and shit, yep. bro. Nice hair and brushes and products and shit. A chair. Like, it's just really weird. No, it but is. it's really like, damn, like. It's, it's unbelievable to a point. Like I and said, you live in a color world. You're like, nah, I can't. it's not even that. They're just, it's just that. Let's go back to the part where you said unbelievable. Because that's where I be at. With my whole life, I've always been in the unbelievable. I can't believe certain shit because of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I can't believe what I'm told because I don't know why I'm being told this. Yeah. Just like when King Lo said on that freestyle, like, once a motherfucker learns something, they cut off their tongue so they can't share that. Because that's where the power is. It's not the power in the knowledge. It's the power in the following of the knowledge. It's the power in the army. 
Like, yes, the general is the one with the idea. But if it's a general with an idea in a basement, where what you can't do that. But if it's a general with an idea with a million troops, nigga, you could take over the world. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's not about the generals and the, the idea. It's about how you can take that idea and and captivate the minds of people and allow them to understand that you are leading them in the proper direction. Correct. Because think about what what motherfuckers have done in a negative notation, like Hitler and shit gathered so much the whole army and, right and i believe behind it every single right. one of them had a believed the him 300 I was but it was that so last bad night. it was so it wasn't good but they still believed yep. that that's believe. just tricky it is that's you can tricky. always take it on you can almost take it down to religion too how people be feeling about that yeah but nonetheless yeah hey, that's always how it is i mean shit look at donald trump for perfect example Everybody thought this nigga be a fucking joke running for president. This nigga a big name. Yep. <laughs> this nigga got boats out here talking about uh, fuck Biden. Donald Trump for president. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like this, Even though he lost, they still support him. Right. That's and real Even support. though what people say about him being this and that and the third and blah, blah, blah. And yep. bad business and bad politics. Whatever. Yep. Shit, it don't matter what they say. You just got to get a good group of people behind you. Right. That's really what that's it's about. That's all it is. Word and, that, and that's, that's why it's powering the people. Yeah. Always powering the people. Which is unfortunate. Doesn't really yeah. matter how good of a part, like what exactly. good your characteristics exactly. are, how strong you are. Because it depends smart. on the sheep that follow the shepherd, right. not really about the shepherd. Really? It is. Of all them sheep, or at least half of them sheep just chill out, the other half will probably pay attention and be like, you know what? Why are they chilling? Right. And then it's there ain't no sheep following you no exactly. more because they've been talking. Exactly. These sheep is like, nah, bro, you weird. Uh huh. <laughs> Type shit, nah, for real. They be howling and shit. Midnight, bro. Uh -huh. shit. Nah, nigga, we sleeping. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> real deal, though. Uh, it is like for real. That, the man. man, damn, that's something you gotta touch them though. The people that is. Right. That's why. That's why it's like it's tough. But it's, it's always, like, been like that. Like, your business depend on clientele. Right. People, your music, your music videos, your, uh -huh. your OnlyFans page. Motherfucker, anything depend on people. Yep. You need people. You know what I'm saying? To, to whatever the reason they like you to yeah, come Yeah, what, because what's a leader without a follower? Pretty much. It's just somebody with great ideas. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But they don't, it'll die, right? An idea will die if it don't get seeded and sold. Yeah. An idea will die if it don't get re repeated. You know what I'm saying? Like, period. An idea will die without a motherfucker to keep it alive. Yeah. I, an idea will die without water. Right. That's crazy because I'm growing a plant right now. I'm growing two of them. And then that's, and you I see know. see them every day grow. I'm not a farmer, bro, but I know those are the only people that really understand how to, how to, uh, how life is. Yeah, and, and understand how to grow and understand what nourishment what is and, and, and nurturement. Mm -hmm. Because it's like farmers understand that you're not going to plant a seed and it's not going to grow the next morning. Exactly. Farmers know that you need to treat this shit with a certain type of style for it to actually reach its potential. Our farmers is the only ones that really know about growth. You know what I'm saying? And that's um. why, like... We didn't really take it serious like when, when they offered those agricultural Yo key in here. Alright. I just ain't when, really know. When, what's going on. when they offered those agricultural uh classes in um high school and middle school and shit, we didn't really take it that serious. But that shit shows you so much, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like even even the um little not not the baby things, but the chia pet shit that you need to, you know, you give it. Water and right, chia right, pets right. The little goldfish in the bowl, just right. like having an animal. Exactly. A pet. I mean, an animal may not be so much on the same level. It really starts with a plant, though. That plant, and I and I swear, like the same shit you're talking about is like the same shit I'm in a sense doing. Like the plant that since I've been taking care of that shit since I had one plant on that bitch, bro. That shit sprouted to like it got like nine, ten, and more coming in. So it's crazy because. I've been going through such a, a just a, a trials and tribulations type shit and watching this plant grow literally right next to me. Right. Like, I feel like this plant is a part of me in a sense just because this plant is right next to me. It's hearing it's my reflecting emotions. reflecting you. Yeah, in a yeah. sense. And, like, it's growing every day. 
And in a sense, what I'm going through, I am growing every day with it. You know, like a hand to hand type shit. So it is crazy though. Right. But yeah, that agriculture should take you further than. And you that's know. what that's why it's dope. Like he do take the steps, but it's hard for people. You know what I'm saying? But for you that you really been on the journey and you really, uh, but you ate the seafood the other day, right? That like yeah yeah yeah. Well yeah, right, yeah I've right, been right. eating seafood, but I'm still getting there. Right, I thought right, seafood right. was cool for the most part. So right I, right. You know I'm, I'm eating shrimp, don't it's fish. Still that's animals. really yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But I really don't like shrimp. The other day, I was about to have alligator, and I thought to think real hard about the show. I'm like, hold on, nigga. That's an animal, though. But then I really thought about it. I was like, hold oh, on, no. though, nigga. I'm yeah. eating shrimp, yeah. crab, yeah. lobster, bro. Yeah. It's like, damn. But that's still a step because it's it intentional. Is. It is. Just like with the There's plant, purpose it's all intentional. It. You know what I'm saying? It's like, right, the purpose behind it. Yeah. So it's like, yes, like you said, you're growing with the plant. is is, And, and that's why it's like, I be facing shit in life like that, that, don't allow me to really tap into what I really my bigger picture, right? Yep, yep. Because it's like I like to think moment by moment, but I also like to think bigger by. It's like simultaneous. I try to. It's very difficult, but I try to live like that. But I kind of miss what I really am doing with my life. You know what I'm saying? Because I am faced with such real shit. Like it's like tough for me to grasp like my growth. But I understand, like bro, I be doing some real ass shit on my own. You know what I'm saying? Like. Bro, I really haven't ate meat in all these years. Like, literally have not touched meat, bro. I don't miss the shit. I don't know. I literally have not smoked for, I think, like, 86 days now. So, it's like, these things that I do, I they, they kind of go unnoticed. But I know, bro, they're... I know, exactly. I know, I'm on the right path. You know that what I'm he saying? He don't know, and he don't know. Right. Sometimes you know I don't even know though. Right, but like you, you, you really know. Like there's, there's, there's right. a you and right. there's a conscious exactly. you, or whatever the case yeah, is. Yeah, but like, yeah, yeah. That's a you and an right autopilot there. you. Right. Like, and, exactly. And that autopilot you. Sometimes they take exactly. you in the wrong. They don't take you the right direction. Right. Because they on autopilot. They thinking you want to go this way. They thinking. Right. 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 And that's right. what a lot of society do. They think. They exactly. assume they go in the right direction. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They follow the coolest trend or this or that or whatever the case right. is you know what i'm saying so and no, that's a, that. and that's a, and that's another battle with that's conflicted with the general with the ideas because it's like i don't want to follow trends i don't want to but i understand that it yep. needs those followers i understand it's just that, so hard to stay on at 100 right 100 percent of your yes. time you gotta be 10 toes down every second bro right you can't slip flip or fold none right. of that shit none. It, it's like you can and it's you can and it's it's it's, it's advertised to do it right because they don't want you to be as powerful mm. as you can be so go ahead and sit back eat cheetos drink beer bro you right. good you know what exactly. i'm saying no, no, for real. you good you know because they don't really want you to see like you said your true potential your true yeah. self-growth what you can really do with or without but it's all a choice when you choosing to do this shit, it's you choosing to do it just because. Right. You ain't even choosing it with a purpose. No right. More. At first, you did. When you first started, you did. Exactly. But then it became consistency in the wrong sense. Yeah. You want good consistency or positive, not negative consistency. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, so, right. Ooh, yeah. It's just, it's, like it's, it's, it's hard to put the right words together to kind of paint the bigger picture yeah. in a sense. And exactly. Even to all yourself. Because it feels like all the words have been said. Right. And, all, and all the words mean the same shit. It's right. like words. Words are words, but exactly. whatever. Six and stones will break my bones, so words right. never hurt me. That so means how words ain't shit, words, bro. Right. <laughs> Like exactly. words and shit, bro. It's more about what you think. Like, yeah, you because at the end of the day, language visual. is such a major barrier, bro. Like lang mm -hmm. language is so it limits us. Because like we feel so much things, but we can only attach those feelings to the words that have been given to us. You gotta but, plug in to me. Right. To, to see what right. I'm saying. Which is like, you you don't even need to hear Because it, what see. I'm saying it, it what I'm feeling is more than English, it's more than Chinese, mm -hmm. it's more than Asian, it's more than Korean, it's more than all these other yep. languages. It's more than dictation. Bro, it's more than an action. Right, at I the can, end of the day, I right. I kill somebody and like I still can't express how, how much I really mean about this. Or right. How much I really feel about this or shit. Or what like, made me really do it. Yeah. Because like, I only it, have words to explain it, but all, it was really emotions and feelings that exactly. drove me to this point. And all y'all see is just the action. The drive Fine. is unexplainable, but the destination is what we have words for. There you go. The destination is what you got words for. Always kept one, but no, it's deep, bro. It's, it's limited. It's it's hard. To, and and it's hold hard on, hold on, my bad. We gotta stop know. there. We gotta stop there because think about that. The destination, bro. 
we don't know and that's why it's limited because we don't know so all we can do is guess and have limits and have ceilings for the destination right even of this purpose of life bro because i know there's no way bro this life is meaningless like how are we alive bro just doing this <laughs> how are we even alive bro what for right like how are we even alive creating shit like creating this shit buildings right like, Niggas can't just be paying this to come This can't be an accident, row. bro. Like, there's this is so important, and we don't understand the value of it, and that's the part that we don't understand the value because we only have language to allow us to express. Like, we don't know the value because value is energy. You know what I'm saying? Love is kind of one of them feelings, I guess, that can help you express without without words. Damn, that's deep. Because it's pure. Yeah. Like, that when love you got is that pure. real love, like... Hate, is hate is hate is fed, but love is pure. But at the same time, you can still feel hate. Because it's fed to us, though. I mean, either way, though, I feel like, in a sense, love got the same power hate do. Love, that's a language. That, love speaks its own language to people. That's kind of where I was getting at, because that's a, that's a language that you don't need to speak. You know what I'm saying? People can feel the love in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if it's a relation, Well, all of them is relationships. But if it's, like, your boyfriend, girlfriend, best friend, mom, cousin, whatever, a uh, homeboy, right? Step pops, whatever. Like, certain emotions you can really feel without having to say. That's why, at the end yeah. of the day, you still connect. You still link up. You still, you know what I'm saying? You still reach out to certain people. You know what I'm saying? Because you always got that love there. Same thing kind of with hate, though. Yeah. That's the same thing that push you away from certain people until you overcome it with love. Which is just, I was just pretty much relating both of them as feelings that you don't got to necessarily use words for. Right. And that, I don't know, I was just kind of saying, well, thinking that maybe that's like a um, a route people could go or just kind of a route we could go as far as expressing how we really feel is through certain emotions. So let me ask you a question. So when you said all these things about love and hate, right? <clears throat> so let's say when you fight somebody, can it be for both reasons? For love and hate? Right. You could be fighting this person because you loved them so much and they did something maybe small to you, but you loved them so much that you're like, damn, how could you have done that to me? Or you could fight them because you hate them so much and you're like, bro, I just fucking want to take you off of this face of the earth. That's when fake love and and, and, um, and fed hatred come into place, I believe. Because uh, I think people who really understand love and hate, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, Because like I've seen it. I've, I've really seen it and I, at the end of the day I don't care how much I hate or how much I don't care what you do it don't matter like you could do it you it don't matter at the end of the day I know what we had and I know I just know what we had type of shit you know it's, it's crazy to go so deep into it yeah but at the end of the day I wouldn't re retaliate which would be where the hatred would come in mm -hmm. I don't I don't feel like I would retaliate in any type of sense I don't feel like I would mm -hmm. but at the sense at the same sense I'm going through it right now with just certain points where I can't like, like when it comes down to certain little things, you know what I'm saying? I can't be mad at certain people for these things because I had so much love for them and I understand in a sense where they're coming from. So I won't let my love ever conquer that hatred. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just how I am. Vice versa. And then the hatred with the love in a sense when it does come down to a, a specific hatred. Yeah. But you also got to feel that feeling. You know what I'm saying? I never felt the feeling of somebody doing something so detrimental to me as far as killing somebody mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like it hasn't been like that i felt other things where people who i've loved even though i thought i never would people who i've loved who completely turn their backs on me and have threatened to kill me you know what i'm saying which does ultimately affect my family and even at the end of the day it makes you be somebody that you don't even want to be well not even it, it kind of did at first but i had to step back from reality and be like at one point i really did have love for this person yeah. I can't hate them now, and really, it just is what it is type of shit. If they come, they come. If mm -hmm. it happens, it happens. But Ain't then nothing... it comes that you got to be prepared for that moment, though. You do. That's the you part that you definitely do. Mind. You do, but at the same time, you just got to kind of what it comes all back to is acceptance. This life, yeah. I mean, it, it comes with it pros and cons, bro. Yeah. At any point, you can die, <laughs> right. you, or whatever that really is. Yeah. But at any point, you can just go. You can see a gruesome effect of something who knows bro but just kind of going back to that at the end of the day no matter what this person said or did you know what i'm saying i just accepted what it was because i kind of was getting out of pocket out of character and i had to just dial that bitch back and be like bro the purpose of what you going through right like what direction you trying to go in 
what right. kind of character you want to set for yourself and the people who look up to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Which is most importantly the people who I care about being my younger ones and the people in my circle and the people who I fuck with. Because, again, it's all an energy thing. Yeah. We can't be soft. Not necessarily. We just got to... We got to be strong for the people who look who look up. Right. The next generation of people who are going to follow in our circle. Right. You feel me? So shit like that. So nonetheless, it all just boils back down to no matter how much it, how much ill malice come from that person, it just is what it is. I accept my fate. And when you come, you come. If you don't, you don't. Yeah. Either way, I, and even to this day, I still say it. <laughs> so, like, so this nigga, I, I, had, I can say a lot of bad about him, but this nigga taught me a lot of good. Yeah. And I got love for that for that for that young man for that. I really do. Uh -huh. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Shit don't always go your so way. So basically just your preparation always still has to be derived from love. Even if it's for preparation for war, it still has gotta be derived for love and acceptance of that. So I'ma correlate it to my personal life, like with my nephew. Like this motherfucker do shit like that I don't not fuck with, right? That I that no, that it bothers everybody, right? And, and I have sister. to pinch him sometimes, right? And I gotta pinch him sometimes. I gotta I gotta be. Fit. I don't like that shit, bro. I don't like threatening. I don't like violence. I don't like yeah. teaching with violence. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I don't like that. I want to be able to teach with just words. I want to be able to for you to get this lesson without me harming you, because I don't want to harm you because I love you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the battle that I face personally, like with that. And like, I can make you feel that, but I don't want to make you feel that. You know what I'm saying? Because I love you. I want my words to touch you and for them to just click with you. But like with her and my nephew, it's so difficult, bro. Like he, he be telling my niece to shut up and shit. And it's just like little shit like that. It's just like, bro, stop doing that. Don't tell her to shut up. Like you're annoying yourself. Like you can't think somebody else is annoying if you're annoying. So it's just like, I don't want to have to pinch you. I don't want to have mm -hmm. to discipline you. I don't want to harm you to teach you a lesson, bro. I just want to teach you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like, if I'm my words ain't working, my actions ain't working, because I, I, those are my first two, my words and my actions, I want them to show you. I don't want harm. I don't want violence to show you. And But it's like, he shows me that it's like words and actions ain't enough. And that's what's so tough to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to pinch you so bad that it makes you cry. Because right. that don't make me feel good. It leaves a bad impression, too. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't make me feel good. Nah. Like, and I don't want to I don't want to harm, period. So it's just like, bro, why can't words and action be enough? And that's what I'm saying. Like, them two is what shows me that. And it's so tough because that's my core, and you're only as strong as your weakest link. So at the end of the day, I'm only as strong as them two. Regardless of how much I move in life, regardless of how much I grow in life, no matter how much I build in life, I am only as strong as my weakest links. And my weakest links is what I care about, which is my family. So it's like, y'all are my weakest links, so y'all are my strongest links. Yeah. So I'm only as strong as that. And that's why I try so hard for y'all to be stronger. But it's like, the shit really don't work, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. The shit really don't work with them. You see what I'm saying? No, I, 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 you just said it. You see. I feel like you got to see the things. It's I, I mean, because like I just said, you know, it took me a while to kind of have to see, you know what I'm saying, to see like the love-hate thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? That I, I don't think I could say that until I had seen that. Right. Until I had seen that kind of, exactly that kind of like what I was doing, what they was doing, what, what the energy, the, the right. all the emotions actually behind it between not just me. But my family, my girl, our kids, their family, my right. sisters and brothers, you know what I'm saying? Right. It breaks down a lot. Like, I, it's unfortunate how much it's like you can always read up on it, read up on it, read up on it. But until you but feel it, exactly. it ain't real. And it's, but that's what a test. That's what anything, bro. Yeah. Like, you can read all up on how to, how to, how to carbon nine work, bro. But, but you, we, but when you get behind it, it's a whole different story. And bro. we could feel that even more with basketball, because I know, I know, real hoopers is real hoopers, and that's the essence. So it's like I know before the the nights before the games, the morning before the games, I know in your head you was like how you was gonna play. But we both know once that we only know how we gonna play once the game starts. Yeah. You know it's, what I'm saying? It's all free motion. And it's never how we thought or planned. That's why you work on repetitive drills. It's for muscle memory. Because right. Because when you in the moment, yeah, you you in the moment and you thinking, but when buddy step up, you ain't that fast. Exactly. You ain't point tenths of a second exactly. fast enough to be like, pew, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Right, right, right. Bro, you, you are in a sense, but it's not all you, bro. It's, your, it's you. It's your muscles, though, too. Muscle memory, bro. The muscle reacts to that. 
and it's just off of a brain impulse because the brain it kind of it, it sees what's coming in a sense which is kind of crazy too i was saying right. that shit the other day like how you got to predict which ultimately turns into you seeing the future if you're predicting i mean shit and if you predict incorrectly <laughs> shit it's kind of crazy and this is what i love about you know the people i fuck with because they're all hoopers at the end of the day no matter what level they was at but it's like that's what i fuck with because most of the people that i fuck with fuck with allow their basketball shit to translate into life like you td like all my homies like they they it correlates to their life still bro because like regard i don't know how you feel about your life but i know when i look outside looking into your life it's like bro that's aaron that's the nigga that i used to hoop with that's the superstar hooper that i hooped with you know what i'm saying just because how you approach your life it's crazy too because i get that from uh, from quite a few people who nowadays i just i don't, I don't know like after life goes on you just i ain't think of it too much like that you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying when i was outside looking in and even now on the outside looking in but i get that from from quite a few more people than I just ever would have expected to, honestly. Mm-hmm. But I just wanted to throw that in real quick. I appreciated that. Just because, I don't know, like, I don't know. You know, look good, feel good type shit. It's something that make you feel good. But, right. Um, and it's a and it's a hundred, too. I ain't just saying this shit. Like, yeah, no. Nah, yeah, it's like, bro, you handle your shit regardless. And, and it's like, I don't know how hard your personal it really is, but I know it's hard. You know what I'm saying? I know it's not easy. But I know you take that shit every day, day by day, and conquer that shit. Shit, likewise. You likewise. see what I'm saying? It's like, and that shit is, that's so hard to me. I mean, but shit, and like I said, likewise. Though, and that's what's crazy about the energy is when you feed off of it. Because, again, like, it's just when, when two powerhouses just keep b- bouncing off of each other pretty much. You right. get what I'm saying? Like... Y'all just going to create such a, uh, what's that, positive, negative type shit. That type of impact about it. Just because I'll be seeing her friends and the energy her friends be giving her. And I don't know, I'll just be like, like, it's not immature. It's just like, y'all bitches got to grow up. You know females is hella different. Yeah. They hella different. Yeah. And but just- but that that is the man's fault. And that's why I don't fault women. Because most of these shits is trauma for men or because they was led by the wrong man or so much yep. shit that they, like us she as men no daddy, so. like eat right and even us go. as right and even us as men like even if we face that we know we have to conquer that mm-hmm. but when it's the 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 second step below that and that's not their fault either and that's my point like it's like if women knew they were leaders there wouldn't be so much struggling women with finding their identity with finding how their leader roles because in, in most worldview women's eyes, they are supposed to be the, the primal follower. They are supposed to follow men. I don't believe that. And that's why I don't judge women for anything they do because I know how lost they can be because I know how lost I have been. And I'm the one that's supposed to be a leader and, a, and, a, and the head of the... You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. of what we're brainwashed to believe. But it's like when you really dig down deep, the that's why the word is so fucked up because it's like... The the weak is the leader. You know what I'm saying? In all senses. Whether it's white man, black man, whether it's white man, women, whether it's whether it's white man at all, that's the weakest of the species, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This yeah, is like I be- I believe it's that. been manipulated to believe they're the strongest, so everything is crazy after that. You see what I'm saying? And they not. When when really they it's transparent. It's not black man, it's not white man, it's not Spanish man, it's not no man. It's women that are the lead, bro. It's women that carry every seed, bro. It's women that have to endure those nine months for the, the reproduction process. Our nut is pleasurable. Everything of our life is pleasurable. The women have to face all the pain. So the women, pain oh, is growth. So the women have the most growth uh, potential. And Be- grow with all the pain. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, at the end of the day, that's why it's all fucked up. And that's why I don't judge women because it's like they've been manipulated so deep in the core that they don't understand their true essence. So it's like when you don't understand your true essence, you can't be judged. But it's like the only time you can be judged is when you understand your true essence and then you go against it. That's the only time. But these women haven't been assigned that role yet. Even though it's theirs for the taking, man hasn't allowed that to happen because man has hindered life evolution. I can say that. You see what I'm saying? Even though it do take two, but I, I yeah, do say that. Yeah, a hundred, I do a hundred. See that. But it's, the Virgin Mary proves that that's not true. If you believe in the Virgin right, Mary. Right, right. 
Right. But I mean, not that I don't believe it in the come Virgin from Mary. Somewhere, though. But I, I, that's what I'm saying. And that like, story what makes the, the most sense. That it's like it just magically appeared in a woman because a man didn't give birth to the first man. No. Period. No. So it's like. Oh, that's what I looked up. Um, first man to up. Yep. A man's center of gravity is located at the center of his chest, at his sternum. Let's say right here. And a woman's center of gravity is located approximately in the center of her pelvis. So that's right in the middle. Right. And, and where did you say the woman's was? Uh, the center of her pelvis. So, yeah. But I know the, the middle of the, it's just at the sternum. Like, so So it's like the end of my sternum. I guess. I'm right. A, I would assume so. Well, the center of a man's gravity is, is his entire sternum. Right. So, so at that point, my yours, gravity think, is shifted, torn. ain't it, at that point? It could be. It really depends on what it is. Like if it's the bone itself, or, right? But I don't really know because that's when because gravity, that's that's this different boy. Because you know what I'm saying. Oh no, it's not. Because I guess gravity go off in a sense weight as far as balance on each each side. You know what I'm saying? Left and right. Yeah. Yeah. No matter how deformed it may look, like this right. may go up, this may go down, but it's still balanced because of the center right, of gravity. Right. 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 It get too deep. Yeah, you know what I'm really, saying. We don't really choose too much. I mean, there's a, at there's all. A, there's really a little bit. It's that about you can acceptance define. and embracement. Pretty much. I mean, shit. That's that's what I was kind of saying about the other, well, like last time. Kind of like I think when we first did the uh, the uh, the one on one shit. Um, when I was all kind of like just bearded up and shit, all this not shaved. Yeah. I was going just not really going through it, but I was just like. What's really the point of the appearance? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, why do I shave? Yeah. Because there's a lot of reasons I could tell you why I shouldn't shave. There's really only the reason I can only really tell you why I do shave is just to keep up with appearance. my appearance. And that's a, and I'm, good, I'm glad you, good, I'm and glad that's what you I brought did. up that. The is only it? reason why is, you know, because of that, because I heard some shit the other day that, you know, the growing the hair shit is powerful. And it's crazy, bro, because I do this shit all intuitional. Yeah. Like, I have, my hair is long as fuck now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, like, yeah, I chopped my beard off, but that was just, you know, just to do it. I'm going to grow that shit back. Shit. But it, but it's just like, that's the point, too. It's just like, I let my shit grow intuitionally, bro, but I know there is a reason why. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's and that, and that's intuition it. versus reason, because your intuition barely does, your, only your subconscious knows the reason. Your consciousness doesn't know the reason of your intuition. No. Nope. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, like with our beards, with our top head, with all our hair, it's like, bro, there's magic in the hair. There's power in the hair. Shit, more than you could think. Right. Honestly. You ready? Shit, there's a lot of that shit. You know, that kind of, all that kind of just brought me back to when we was kind of talking about love, hate. Love, hate.